Yo, yo, so I got a fun video today. I'm really, I'm really excited to film this video because um, I'm going to actually be organizing my backyard. I have like so much shit that I have to organize right now because I had to move everything in for the fence to be built. If you didn't already see the video I just posted yesterday or the last video I posted um, about my fence, how I just got it installed. I just got it installed, so, um, I had to move everything into, like, the center of my yard, and it just looks so crowded and dirty and messy, and so, I'm just gonna kind of give things a place, and, um, just get it organized, because I've, I've, you know, I'm gonna be buying more stuff and be getting, giving away some stuff, so I think that an organization is really, like, needed right now, um, and as I do that, I'm also gonna tell you just all the updates, um, updated ideas and plans that I have for the backyard, um, there are quite a few, and I feel like it's about to start raining, so, over here, I really, um, also, I'm just gonna go around and tell you all the updates first, and then I'm gonna, like, clean up, I'm gonna do the clean up in a nice, easy, clean time lapse, so it's, like, quick and easy, um, so, yeah, but I'm going to go through and tell you right now what I'm going to be doing. So, over here first, because it's the entrance to my backyard, I am going to be, um, obviously moving all this shit, and, uh, there's, like, this huge stump right here. I can't even park right here right now. I'm, I really want to try to get this thing out today. I feel like I might just need, like, a, a saw or something, because I can't park here, I tried, and I backed it up, and it, like, went on my exhaust pipe or some shit, so I have to get rid of that, and, um, eventually, I will be putting in a nice paved, um, like, pavers back here, but I calculated how much it would be to do two pavers on both sides of the whole entire driveways, it's about, uh, 50 by 10 feet for each of them, so 100 by 20, and that's, like, um, I believe it's $1,500, and so what I'm going to do to be cheap right now is just cut it in half and just do half of it. So I'm not even going to mess with back here or the same thing on the other side for the ADU's parking lot. I'm just going to pave the front of the house. So really, if you look at my house, there's two driveways on either side. They're both dirt right now, and I'm just going to get that dirt out of here, put some pavers in, and um, down the line, maybe like in a few months, I'll come back and do the same thing on the inside of my backyard and on the inside of my ADU's little yard over there. So I think that would be really nice. Um, I think it's just going to make it look beautiful. Uh, and I'm happy it's kind of affordable. At first, I was going to do like little stone pieces, but that would have been like two grand. Like, And I don't want to spend that much money on it. Um, Cause it will be beautiful, but you know, also another big thing, I will be painting my house blue in like two weeks from now, and I will be filming it, of course. Um, and then I do want to mention something else up front is I just had the same dude who did my backyard fence, I had him do, um, my, uh, picket fence. So he ended up putting just the studs in the ground, and I'm going to be finishing off the, like the fence. So, um, that's something that's going to be happening within the next two weeks as well. So I don't even want to make this too much of a complicated explanation of what I want to do over here, but pretty much imagine all this empty over here. So I, I want to move all this. I actually want to put my whole gym out on this side of the yard, um, and I'm going to be doing that today. Uh, so imagine the gym over there, mirrors over there, um, and all this wood. I'm going to have to find a new home for it uh, somewhere else in my yard because I want this to be completely empty, um, let me show you where I'm gonna put the gym, and then I'm gonna flip the camera and show you what I got going on over here, so over here, what I got going on is pretty much my car is gonna stop right here, or even maybe probably further that way, and then I want the gym to immediately be right here, um, I think that would be, like, just perfect, so I got my, you know, I can get out of my car, I can go to the gym, over there it's completely empty, um, and then pretty much what I want to do is, um, like I said, this is all empty, imagine nothing in here. I want to put a fence from here on down, but a door's right here, so to, the way to get in there is through this door, so there's a little yard in here, and I want to tear down this fence that I actually previously built, and I want the fence to quite literally go in L shape. So it will pretty much go from... All the way down there, I'm going to add like a couple feet and have it quite literally be like an L shape on down. I have a door down there and basically chop it in half. So 
right in the middle of it, I'm going to chop it in half right here. I hope all this makes sense, but it probably honestly doesn't. But pretty much what I want to happen here is I want this side of that little yard to be for my house. I'm going to be renting out my house soon, and I'm going to be living in my tiny house. So that little yard will be for the person who's renting my house. And then this side of the yard will continue to be for my ADU. Because this is my ADU's yard right now. If I made it two feet out and then chopped off the end here, their yard will be the same length as the person who's renting the house's yard so that's why it's going to be empty on here i i would love to like landscape it in there and and do all this fun stuff but i may not even have the money for it at that point because there's going to be other things i have to fund but probably slowly i will add things i want to put like some beautiful trees in there and and i don't even fucking know but i want my gym to kind of be like open to everyone so if the people in the house people who are renting the house want to use my gym they can the people that are you know renting the adu if he wants to use my gym he can't because it's over there so hopefully it's all making sense but that's my vision for over here all right so i busted out my ipad because i want to make it more clear i feel like i'm not being too clear and maybe i am and it's just hard to understand you know what i mean because you're not here so i brought my ipad after i show you this part i'm going to sketch it out just so um or honestly i'll sketch it out at the very end so you can get the full scope um but yeah pretty much uh over here this is the old shed um and this one was burning the fire so right now i really am debating on if i should recover this thing like spray paint it and keep it or spray paint it and sell it or just sell it or just give it away for free um i feel like right now i'd have to give away for free if i don't spray paint it but honestly who knows it's a pretty solid shed um so anyways this guy's gonna get the fuck out of here um when i do decide on a shed i will um I'm trying to decide if I want to put it right here, probably closest to the car, like the driveway area, and then have the gym over here, um, or if I should put it somewhere else in my yard. But as of now, I'm going to get a new shed, put it over there next to my car, and then gym is right here. And then over here, so also just keep in mind, that fence that I had one over here whoop, is going to go all the way, up, quite literally up, up to here. So, I won't be able to enter my backyard from over there. So, I have to enter it from somewhere else, which is over here. So, there's just enough space, like, in between the tiny house and the fence right here for it to be a walkway. So, I want to put pavers over here, and I want to be able to walk to my backyard because, again, I'm going to be living in my tiny house. I'm going to have majority of the yard. The yard over here will be split up between the house and the ADU. And so I will have my big yard back there. But I don't want them to be able to access it. But they can access the gym right here. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to walk you through here just to show you. So this shed won't be here. Um, but the vibe will very much be like, okay, you got to walk through here. Uh, it might look a little small on camera. There's This is actually a good amount of space. It's like just enough space. Honestly... It's enough space for even a really big person. It's really, it's a lot of space. So, anyways, this is the way I'm going to get to my, the rest of my backyard, which is where my trampoline and my pool and, you know, here's the tiny house, of course. Um, looking, looking burned, but it's all right. Um, and the garden and all that. So, over here, I'll, um, let me grab my tripod, but yeah, pretty much here's the view from, from over here. But I do have some sad news, though. I think I, as of right now, I am deciding to pack up the trampoline and um, sell it. Honestly, I think I'll give it away for free. I got it for free. So I think I'm going to find somebody else to give it away to free, for free for, too. Because, um, honestly, it has holes in it. I'm sure it will last a long time with those holes. But um, it got to go, unfortunately. So imagine this trampoline gone. Um and what will replace it are these two really funky cool chairs that i found on amazon they're like 175 dollars so i don't know when how soon i can get those but when as soon as i can i will find somebody to get the trampoline i want to have them both like kind of centered right here um so that's gonna that's what's going on over here um the garden in the in the back over there i don't think i'm going to touch for a, a little bit because i have other projects i have to do but i'll show you what's going on over there so the garden is you know it's not looking too good because, like I said, at least I think I said, all the, you know, all the plants back here are pretty burned up from the fire still. So there's not really much going on. And from the sun, it being summer, I don't really water my plants like that out here. So um, I want to actually do something with this garden over here. Um, I want tall trees and stuff. Like, the vibe 
very much will be like you have to walk to, like on a path in order to get to each spot because there'll be so much trees and so much plants you know what i mean i also want some like plants above um just like like the inside of my house but like with real vines and whatnot i think that would be dope as hell over here will probably be probably be one of my um like favorite areas because here listen to this listen to this idea so this thing is gone. I'm going to give it away for free or some shit because it's really ugly. I got It came with the house. I don't really like that much. Whatever. So um, imagine it's gone. And what will replace it is a, um, imagine like kind of like, a, like either like, just imagine a huge shed. Um, not that big, but like, you know, maybe 10 by 10 feet, right? Um, you know, like maybe darker, you know, darker shed or something similar to like a, you know, a shed 10 by 10 feet or so. And then inside of it, a jacuzzi. I've been looking online for jacuzzis and I did find quite a few for around three fifty, five hundred dollars $500. Um, they're the kind that are blow up. I would love to get a, like a real one, but those are like minimum 3000 5000 I don't want to spend all that money. I don't even know how often I'll use it. Um, I think it will be a good time though, because in the winter time, me and Kale, my girlfriend, we're probably going to want to hop in there like almost every damn day. Like when it'll be snowing and raining, I think it'll be a vibe. And the reason why I want to put it in a shed, probably at first it won't be in a shed, but the reason why I want to put it in a shed is so that, you know, the weather, if it is snowing or raining, like I want it to be like a cool spot. I want to have a little bar cart in there and like um, some LED lights and like just the whole, I want it to be a vibe in there. So that's the plan over there because it's right next to the pool. You know, it kind of makes sense. Um, so you kind of walk back here, you see the two chairs in the middle. You got the tiny house in the corner, the pool, and over here is, you know, the jacuzzi. So, I need to back up the camera a bit because there is a lot of land over here that I can work with. So, let me change the position. Right now, what I have over here is some random chairs um, and, like, a bunch of, like, windows and shit. Uh, basically, these, like, recycled windows over here were originally from, uh, the tiny house. It was, like, a little, like, a little patio, but I think what I want to do over here is level it out, and I would say right here I got a good, a good 20 by 20 feet. I don't know if it will be that big, but here is my idea. Oops, sorry, Cheddar. So, I essentially want to build a... I don't know, 20 by 20, 15 by 15. I don't know how big, um, but I want to build something over here made out of recycled window windows, or even I might buy a shed too. I might buy another shed. I don't know what I'll do yet or build it from scratch, but I want to have a pretty juicy like structure over here only specifically for rug making. So it will be my rug studio or art studio in general, because I want to do other mediums too, like sewing and crocheting and you know, glass, you know, what's it called, a glass staining or whatever it's called, and, and um, printmaking, just all sorts of different types of art. I want to build something here that it's just, like, windows and um, a lot of light coming in, but it's still, like, insulated, kind of, and um, I like it insulated enough that I can be in here while it's raining and tall enough that I can make big frames uh, for my rugs. So that's going to be over here. I think that probably would be smart because... If I'm living in the tiny house, it's small as fuck. I'm, you know, not going to do the construction on my house to, like, convert my attic into, like, a living room slash bedroom. I was going to do that in the past, but just to save money right now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to live in 85 square feet, and over here will be the art studio. I'll be able to swim. I'll be able to do my sauna. I'll have my, you know, two little hangout chairs in the middle of the yard, and my gym in the corner over there, and all this will be just my space, you know, my, my, um... The people who rent my house and rent my ADU can't come back here. So I think it would just be like a peaceful, like, spot that I can just be and just chill out and make art. So that's kind of the plan for over here. Um, I really can't wait for that. That will, This will probably be, I don't know if I'll do this before or after the sauna. Because both of those, or the jacuzzi, because both of those don't really, they're not necessary. Um, and I don't even think I'll do those within the next five weeks. Probably more like two months I'll do the jacuzzi and the art studio because they, they're really like the last thing on my list. Number one is getting my tiny house up and running. Speaking of my tiny house though, um, it's still not renovated at all. I didn't do any type of work on it um, yet. Uh, right now I'm truly just focusing on my exterior of my house for just a quick second and then I'm going to jump over to my ADU. I have to do some work over there on like the kitchen and then I'll hop on the tiny house um, around the first and second week of October. And um, 
my plan as of now is to rent out my house for about like one month. Um, and then in December, my sister's going to come for like one to three months. And then I'll get like a permanent person to rent out, you know, my house and I'll be in the, you know, the tiny house. So, um, I don't really have that much time to like actually get to the point where I live in the tiny house. I really like kind of get, need to get on it. It's because there's so many different projects that kind of come before it. So I'm a little bit nervous, but, um, I really just need a door, a window, a paint job, and that's really about it. Other than that, it's kind of just aesthetics and, oh, I also need a loft. I need to build a loft now since I'll be sleeping in there um, and not in my attic like I originally planned on doing. I'm working on this drawing here. This is my house. This is the ADU's driveway. This is my driveway. The ADU, the ADU's yard the house's yard and then their gate will be right here um i'm just gonna split it in half right there and then over here i'll have the jacuzzi and then the pool and then over here will be the art studio and then i'll have my two random chairs right here up here will be the garden um over here will be like the gym area so gym gym area the tiny house is right here and that's that's really it so i hope that drawing makes sense <laughs> pretty well um it took a lot longer than i thought but i'm really happy with how it's looking i haven't done the gym area yet because i'm gonna make a tiktok of doing that so um i just wanted to talk a little bit and then i will show you the end result um and uh show you what i got going on so far it's actually pretty cool though literally a few minutes ago my um fence guy just popped over um and he got the measurements for the little fence that i want to put right here so i'm really happy about that um it's going to be done tomorrow so pretty quick and efficient um i'll have to make another updated video on that um but yeah i like how it's looking i think out of all the areas this area over here is looking pretty like clutter a little bit messy because it's kind of just all the random bullshit um i am planning on selling this fence stuff and and using that wood for the uh for the fence and um obviously like i said i think i might give this away or might paint it and keep it and move it somewhere else because this will be their yard you know it has to be empty over here the tanks i'm also going to be giving away um and yeah so this area is a little bit more cluttered looking but it's not too bad i really love how open this space is looking i mean it's not gonna look as open anymore when the fence is up um because it's gonna be quite literally right here uh so this will be closed off but it's still just looking so beautiful um i i think it's it's gonna be perfect i think there's a perfect amount of space over here uh to get back there um which is which is great um and i thought i would just add the plant right here in these little guys because you know i gotta I gotta still have an artistic vibe outside. I want to add more all my mannequins that are in my house outside when I do move into my tiny house eventually. So I think that would look really cool. I have like plants and garden and and random na naked mannequins. I think that's kind of like a vibe, you know. And more mirrors and stuff. I think I'm gonna put a lot of mirrors all over the fences and um, 
just have like a whole vision and lights. I got to add some lights across it all. That's going to add some spice to it. I don't really do much to this space. It was already kind of clean. I think I want to trim back this guy. Um, and also I need to give away or honestly throw away probably my old salt water uh, filter for the pool because that thing's broken. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to add, I, I'm thinking if I do end up getting a garden shed, a new one, um, the fence will be out here and I think I'll put it right here. Um, I think that would probably be a really good spot for it. Um, honestly, I'm kind of thinking I might just end up doing that. Maybe getting like a three by six foot shed. Um, cause that will fit like everything, all my tools that are in my house right now, you know, my gardening tools, just every tool you can think of my saw. Um, I'd love to have a little table in there to be able to like saw stuff up too. So yeah, I like this pathway here. This is kind of the vision I have. I want that pathway to be everywhere. Um, it's going to look so cool when it's done. And over here is looking a little bit messy too. There's not really much going on. Um, but obviously, I got a plan and it's going to probably take a minute, but it'll look really good. Um, but for now, I'm just going to probably keep on getting more and more whoop, uh, used windows and whatnot. And, um, or if I do end up buying a shed, get on like picking up, out one for over here. Um, but yeah, for now, this space is looking a little bit dirty, but it's okay. Oh, Cheddar's running. Cheddar! And lastly, over here, um, loving how this space is looking. Uh, I am going to be painting the tiny house a nice blue. Um, I'm also going to be painting my house blue. So it's going to look really good. I'm thinking a yellow door that's like a huge window. Um, I just can't find one for under like $500. So I'm struggling. I really don't want to spend $500 on a door. Um, but we'll have to see. I might have to. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get the gym set up in a little ticky talky video and i'll show you guys uh the end result of the whole thing do some like pretty clips of it and um yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any ideas on you know the jacuzzi area or even like the art studio if you happen to know any like link online i can go to that is like 10 by 10 and like tall and like pretty cheap i don't want to spend too much money on it um so, yeah, but I'm really excited. I'm going to probably film another video really, really soon um, on when the fence is going up because I'm going to do it myself. You know, he's going to put up the post and I'm going to put on the like the pickets or whatever it's called. So um, I'm definitely going to be making a video probably, I think, next week. No, I don't know. I think next week I'm, you know, yeah, next week I'm doing the driveway. Um, so I'll make a video on that and then painting the house and then the fence. But I may end up just pushing it up a little sooner. Cheddar, stop bumping on it. Anyways, yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs>